the different types of spider webs. According to Wikipedia.com spiders produce silk from their spinneret glands located at the tip of their abdomen. Each gland produces a thread for a special purpose, for example a trailed safety line, sticky silk for trapping prey or fine silk for wrapping it. Spiders use different gland types to produce different silks, and some spiders are capable of producing up to eight different silks during their lifetime. The stickiness of spiders' webs is courtesy of droplets of glue suspended on the silk threads. This glue is multifunctional, that is, its behavior depends on how quickly something touching it attempts to withdraw. At high velocities, they function as an elastic solid, resembling rubber. At lower velocities, they simply act as a sticky glue. This allows them to retain a grip on attached food particles. The web is electrically conductive which causes the silk threads to spring out to trap their quarry, as flying insects tend to gain a static charge which attracts the silk. On the Terminix website it lists all the different types of webs made by the multi-legged creatures, or weaver spiders, Araneti. These sticky webs are the most familiar looking. They have spokes like a wheel, with a spiral design. Like most spiders, or weavers are primarily found outdoors. Some orb weavers' webs include a structure that resembles a ladder, called a stabilimentum, but its use is still up for debate. No one really knows except the spiders, and they're not talking. Triangle spiders, Ula Bordi. If your first guess here was a spider web shaped like a triangle, you're on the right track. If you think of the Araniades web as a pizza, the Ula Bordi's web looks like a single slice. However, triangle spider webs are flat and built horizontally. These webs aren't sticky, they're fuzzy. Triangle spiders don't dispense venom, so their webs are covered with tiny fibers that the spider uses to smother its prey. Funnel web spiders, Agilanity. Funnel web spiders use their webs as both a trap and a hideout, complete with a front entrance for prey and a back door in case the spider needs to make a quick exit. The web is large and flat, with a funnel at one end. The hobo spider is a member of the Agilanity family. Cobweb spiders, the Ariidae. These guys are the pests who spin those super sticky, messy webs in corners and along the tops of walls, especially in dark basements, garages and other storage areas. They are also known as house spiders and comb-footed spiders. The black widow spider belongs to this family. Meshweb spiders, Dictinity. Think of meshweb spiders as the outdoor version of the cobweb spider. Their webs are a little more organized and less messy than cobwebs, and these spiders build them under leaves, in fields and vegetation and under rocks. Sheet web spiders, Linophiidae. The spiders in this family trap their prey in webs made of dense layers of silk. Webs may be flat, bowl-shaped or dome-shaped. Unfortunately, webs aren't always reliable identification tools. While the presence of webs does indicate that spiders are hanging around your home, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're spider-free if you don't see webs. Many kinds of spiders, including brown recluse, wolf spiders and jumping spiders, are hunters and don't use webs to catch prey. End quote. Thank you for watching, and please, like and subscribe.